Ride is brought to you in part by 866 Law Friend. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices in Tom Harbor. When do you crave refreshing iced tea? Twisted Tea wants to know. The next time you want that same satisfying refreshment, but with a kick, grab a Twisted Tea. Twisted Tea, the refreshing hard iced tea that tastes like real iced tea with a kick. Thanks for tuning in to Border Ride TV. This week, it's Game Over Cycles. The unbelievable tattooed motorcycle, the recidivist, comes to life. All this and more here on Born to Ride TV. Closed captioning is provided by Michelle Osborne from Wall Street Rides. Invest smart, ride safe. IFS Securities Broker Dealer. I'm Kevin Mack from Counting Cars on the History Channel. I'm Danny, a.k.a. The Count Coker, and you are watching Born to Ride TV. Stay tuned! Woo! <laughs> The idea of creating a motorcycle covered with real tattoos came to me about 10 years ago. I'm tattooed myself, and I think people have tattoos in order to express their character, just as they paint their motorcycles in a way fitting to who they are and what they like. Some people like skulls, others like flames, and they show that through their bikes. It's been known for a long time that leather can be tattooed, so one day I thought, why not? Let's cover the whole bike in leather and ink it. The bike's concept relates to a long-standing biker tradition. In the turbulent post-war era in America, many bikers led a life on the edge of the law. That's why we called this bike the Recidivist. It was supposed to be completely covered in tattoos and look like a living creature, a person with very strong character who values individuality and a sense of freedom. To give this bike a very specific, old-school style, we had to create the frame from scratch. To relate the bike's construction to the original idea, we couldn't make just a regular frame, so we made it to resemble the shape of the human spine, which nicely fits with the tattoos covering the human body.
All these things then had to be fit into the design of the fuel tank. The challenge was to have a modern fuel injection engine with a computer, but have it still look like an old school bike with a carburetor. We had to find a way to hide all the electronics, cables, computer, fuel pump and everything else. In order to create the tricky fuel tank, we started by forming it out of styrofoam. This was a much better option than first building it in metal, as metal is much more difficult to work with. We fit it to the bike in a one-to-one -one scale. Then we looked at it from all possible angles and evaluated how it all fit and looked. Once the styrofoam tank was ready, we moved on to another material, wood. With wood, we could create a form that could be put into the final steel rendition. So we cut the styrofoam into small pieces, replicated the shapes in wood, polished it all up and made one side of a fuel tank, then mirrored that, which eventually gave us the completed tank. One part of the tank is for fuel, while the other part is where you installed all the electronics, maintaining the overall look of a traditional fuel tank. Gotta get a Biff Burger. Every Wednesday night is bike night at legendary Biff Burger, St. Petersburg. Live music, now serving liquor. Happy hour, three to seven. And you gotta get a monster Biff Burger with fries only $8. Also, check out the new expanded food menu. That's bike night every Wednesday night. Fourth Wednesday of every month is Super Wednesday with Born to Ride TV taping and magazine shoot. Also, win $1,000 cash. Vendors welcome. This is the original Wednesday night bike night for over 20 years. You gotta get a Biff Burger. Bike Center 60,000 square foot showroom is packed with great deals. Get a 2015 Triumph Street Triple only $79.99 or a new 2014 Triumph Speed Triple ABS only $99.99. See more great deals now at funbikecenter.com. Open late every Wednesday. Fun Bike Center Motorsports. Let's have some fun. I've been representing accident victims for nearly a decade. And I've always wanted an office where my clients would feel comfortable and welcome. I'm attorney Fran Hosh, and I've also always been a fighter, never backing down to any insurance company or their attorneys when it comes to representing my clients' rights. Let me deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. If you've been injured in an accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. Now you can take Born to Ride everywhere and anywhere. The new Born to Ride mobile app is ready for you to download. There's more multimedia, more information, more Born to Ride like never before. Crystal Harley Davidson and Homosassa is hosting a summer payment event. We can help you find your personal freedom with a payment that fits your personal budget. Every motorcycle has payment options clearly posted on it. We have brand new Harley Davidsons for only $99 per month, 1.99% for 60 months, and zero down payment options. Remember at Crystal Harley Davidson, we are the king of trades, offering you full blue book value for your trade-in. There is always something happening at Crystal Harley Davidson. In the next stage, we covered the whole bike and elements related to the criminal underworld. We started with the gear shift, which is an infamous suicide shifter made from a crowbar. The clutch and brake levers are formed in the shape of butterfly knives. The brake pump lever is in the shape of a symbol used in legal code. The front brake calipers look like handcuffs. 
We drew them in a one-to-one -one scale. Then we designed it on a computer and put it into a CNC milling machine, which milled the calipers out of aluminum. The ready part looked like brand new, but we treated it with a burner and basically destroyed it so that it would look old. This was done on purpose, because the bike is supposed to look like it already has a wrap sheet. The bike's front suspension looks like a traditional old-school coil tattoo machine. We didn't want to cover it with anything, so we took two pistons and wrapped them with copper wire, imitating coils from a traditional machine. Inside there are pistons, springs, even hardness regulation, but we had to fit it in a way so that its looks would resemble that of a traditional coil tattoo machine while being a fully operational trapezoidal bike frame. Other themed elements of this bike are the knuckle duster, which functions as the rear lamp, and the kickstarter, which is in the shape of a bomb detonator. The icing on the cake is the exhaust pipe, which not only looks exactly like a Cheyenne brand tattoo machine, but also works the same way. The pipes contain tattooing needles, and when you start the bike, the exhaust fumes make the needles mimic those of a tattoo machine. When we started covering the bike with leather, I realized just how large an area I'd have to tattoo. It would be impossible to be done by one person, so I invited two artists from two Polish tattoo studios and a representative from Cheyenne, which makes very modern, I'd say even futuristic, tattoo machines. This suited the bike perfectly, and some of those machines were even used to make parts for the bike. When we heard about the idea of building a motorcycle that uh, should combine the two worlds of tattooing and uh, biking, we were directly interested in this project. And the fact that the bike will get tattoos on its leather skin made it perfect for us. When I saw the bike uh, for the first time uh, at GOC in Poland, uh, I was speechless for a couple of minutes. And we started with the first conversations about the bike, the to-dos, the further process uh, very quickly. But I tried to sneak away in every three minutes uh, to get back to the bike and just look on it. It wasn't finished uh, at that time, but there were already a lot of small details on it. And from that point, we were sure that it will be a, a great project, great bike and a great piece of art. We are very proud to be part of the Cheyenne Bike Project and we want to thank Game Over Cycles for giving us the chance to get involved. Don't miss Born to Ride Lifestyle Magazine, exclusive online at borntoride.com. See the recidivist Game Over Cycles tattoo masterpiece, extended feature, plus the girls of the recidivist, AIM Expo, and the girls of Born to Ride, and more, only at borntoride.com. You've been involved in a motorcycle accident. I'm the biker on your side. I'm Fran Hush, your attorney that rides. Motorcycle accidents get my experience personal attention. And there are no fees, no costs, unless you win. I've dedicated my career to helping accident victims and their loved ones. Your rights are my fight, and I'll never settle for less than you deserve. If you've been injured in a motorcycle accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. Do you get our monthly exclusive newsletter? Sign up at borntoride.com and get on our mailing list today. Find us on Facebook, Born to Ride TV and Magazine, the ultimate multimedia biker experience. Hey, Dale here from Wheels Through Time. Kind of the end of the day, had a great day starting bikes and running bikes for people here at the museum. Ended up on the Thor motorcycle, a pretty interesting machine. 
The Thor Company actually started in Aurora, Illinois, somewhere around 1901. In fact, it was the Thor Company that actually built the first motors, I think for the first thousand or two Indian motorcycles. They also went on to build their own bike called the Thor. Their heyday, around 1913, 1914, Thors were quite popular in the Chicago area, especially in the Midwest also. The Thor Racing Department, built right in Chicago, and they built this motorcycle in 1913. It's a Model SR, and I believe it to be the only Model SR Thor motorcycle in the world. Factory racing job, drop handlebars, cool little bitty seat, 1,000 uh, cc engine, quite a good sized motor. This machine is equipped with a clutch. You can actually drive this bike. In fact, earlier this year, I took this bike at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, taught a fellow how to ride it. They were using the bike for some of their PR work for the upcoming MotoGP race. Love the Thor motorcycle. I've had it for probably about 12 or 13 years. I found it in really mostly original condition, although it was disassembled. I very carefully went through the engine. It runs perfect. What a rare bike. You know, I think it's really pretty unlikely another Thor twin cylinder racing bike will ever appear anywhere. It's the only one I've ever seen. Been to quite a few various swap meets and bike shows. Never seen a Thor racer. Of course, after studying board track racing for nearly 30 years, I've never heard of another Thor racing bike. Truly a testament to the American ingenuity in 1913 and 1914. You know, I could talk about board track racing all day long. This machine, what a special tale, a real personal place in my heart with this bike. I'm going to crank it up. Pretty simple process. Decompress the engine. Give it about two pedals. This thing ought to roar to life. Let's see what it'll do. You know, when I rode this bike at the Indy Speedway, I had it up to 67 miles an hour, had it clocked with one of the Honda Repsol replicas. Truly great bike, a real piece of American history, the Model SR Thor. Born to Ride is a multimedia marketing and promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. Do you want this kind of attendance at your next motorcycle rally? Then you need to consider direct digital marketing with Born to Ride. This is Lucy Nicandri with Thunder by the Bay 2016. And Lucy, we introduced direct digital marketing this year and look what the results. Well, Debbie, when we first got into it, I didn't really totally understand direct digital marketing. And then when I started working with the people that want to fund that type of thing, especially um, through your tourism bureaus locally, that's where the attention's at. So. Um, it has really impacted us in a major way. They, they focus on people from out of the county area coming to your event and festival, and that's the best thing that works. It really is, and uh, thanks to Born to Ride for getting us on board with that concept, because until you came along, we were not doing it. You know, yes, we had Facebook, yes, we had the website, TV, radio, we didn't have digital marketing. So. For Lucy's particular rally here at Thunder by the Bay in Sarasota, we marketed outside county areas to 55,000 motorcycle riders, registered motorcycle riders in the state of Florida in five different counties. And we gave them five impressions during that time period. So that was in the Jacksonville area. It was also in Leesburg, Ocala. It was in Fort Myers, Naples. It was in the Miami area. And it was also in the Gainesville area. So targeting those markets in a direct digital manner brings more attention to your rally, more heads in the beds, more people in the, in the hotels. Yeah, and that's really what everybody's looking at, um, especially your sponsors. And if you want to grow sponsorship, you need to provide those, those kind of statistics, Debbie. So again, uh, if you're not doing digital marketing, direct digital marketing, I'm sorry, 
you need to start thinking about doing it. It was a big education for me and for the charity. So thank you, and I would encourage anybody out there, if you haven't done it, listen to the experts, listen to Deb and Ron. It's really going to drive attendance to your next event. Direct means we know the direct participants that would show up at your event. We know how many registered motorcycle riders there are in each and every state and county. And we also can get their message to you on all digital devices. So give us a try. Give us a call. Direct Digital Marketing at Born to Ride. Give us a call at 888-795-5779. BornToRide.com. Thanks, Lucy. Michelle Osborne from Wall Street Rides, a rider with over 35 years experience helping people. She is your personal consultant for life and can change your future. Financial planning, investment strategies, estate planning, and much more. Do you have a plan for the next five years? Ask Michelle, she can help you. Invest smart, ride safe. IFS Securities Broker Dealer. Hi, this is Michelle Osborne. Today I want to talk to you about my firm, Wall Street Rides. As a fellow rider, I know how important it is to be able to get out there and ride more. That's why we are here to help you with your financial situation. We have dedicated our career in helping clients, clients like yourself. So when you're looking at those confusing financial statements, give us a call. Or if you have questions about your retirement or how we can help you, we are here for you. We want to make sure that you're able to enjoy the life that you really want to live and deserve. I'm Michelle Osborne, Wall Street Rides. Gotta get a Biff Burger. Every Wednesday night is bike night at legendary Biff Burger, St. Petersburg. Live music, now serving liquor. Happy hour, three to seven. And you gotta get a monster Biff Burger with fries only $8. Also, check out the new expanded food menu. That's bike night every Wednesday night. Fourth Wednesday of every month is Super Wednesday with Born to Ride TV taping and magazine shoot. Also, win $1,000 cash. Vendors welcome. This is the original Wednesday night bike night for over 20 years. You gotta get a Biff Burger. In total, to build this bike, it took over 3,000 man hours and the tattooing itself lasted over 250 hours. I like new challenges. I like to face things which at the start seem impossible or very difficult to do. And this project was that kind of challenge. Working on this bike was a cool experience and a learning process. Both of us complement each other on doing it together. We tried various techniques on how to apply ink on such a raw and hard material as leather. It's not the same as with human skin. The tattooing of this bike is as important as tattooing a client's skin, because in each case, you only do it once. The whole bike is covered in over four square meters of tattooed leather. All the tattoos are coherent and relate to the criminal theme. There's only one tattoo which doesn't really suit the bike. It's a card with a piece of H.R. Geiger's art placed on the fuel tank. It was very important to me to have it on the bike because Geiger is an artist who inspires me when I build my bikes. That means a lot to me. To stress the bike's uniqueness even more, we chose the prestigious tattoo convention in London as the location for its unveiling.
something, maybe. The last and the biggest tattoo shows Themis sitting on an electric chair. We decided to tattoo it live during the London show. It took more than 40 hours over two days for two tattoo artists to make it, but this way the audience could see how hard it was. I'll tell a few words about the bike, but I think it would be the best to do it when you actually see it, so if I can ask Sasha and the guys to uncover it. We cannot start the bike here, but if we started the bike, the needles are actually missing, just like in a tattoo machine. Lots of people gathered around our stand. Event visitors, media reporters, even other tattoo artists who were doing tattoos during the event. Everybody was amazed. It was sort of a sensation. Of course, there were artists from all over the world and a large number of amazing tattoos, but a tattooed bike? being tattooed live on stage, this was the only one. Shortly after that, the buzz around the bike began. The press started writing about it. The bike got featured on the covers of Bike, Tattoo and Daily magazines all over the world. There are thousands of photos on the internet and a number of TV news reports. The recidivist is the world's first tattooed motorcycle, so I think the buzz around it has only just begun.